Hello everyone, how you doing on this Tuesday? Hope everything is going well. I wanted to give you a story, and this is coming from Newsbreak.com, uh, and it's on a, a inmate. The name is Vincent Simmons. Now, Vincent Simmons uh, has served 44 years in jail. Now, he is a black man, and he was freed from prison after 44 years as judge rules he did not get fair trial on rape charges in 1977. Now, we need to discuss these cases because we see it more and more black men are being released from prison for fake charges, false charges that have been brought against them. But again, they have not received a fair trial. So it's good to bring to light these trial, these, uh, excuse me, these cases because not everyone across the world gets to see these cases and gets to hear these stories about black men being uh, falsely accused and then falsely convicted. And then they're serving years and years and years on end in our judicial system right here in America. And we see the injustice that continues to, that continues to plague our communities, our race, uh, you know, and society. And a lot of these women, again, are not being held accountable for their part that they play for the false allegations um, for the stories they're being that are made up, they're not being held accountable. And when we look into these laws and try to get bills passed, we are, you know, uh, you know, there are barriers placed. There's things like, oh, well, they just need to file a civil suit and things like that. But no, what needs to happen, there needs to be laws in place that they will prosecute women that bring forth false allegations because we see it time and time and time again. And so in this story, he's a Louisiana man. Uh, he was freed after 44 years in prison after new evidence was uncovered in his attempted aggravated rape case. Vincent Simmons was jailed in 1977 for allegedly attacking twins. There were 14 year old twin sisters and had been fighting for decades to clear his name. So 44 years is decades behind prison walls. Now, Judge Bill Bennett ordered a new trial in the case on Monday, but the district attorney who were prosecuted said he would not retry the 69 year old. Uh, now this is from, like I said, news break, the independent. And, um, I was trying to get you a date and, uh, you know, when this article occurred, because it says that he ordered a new trial in the case on Monday, but this is the thing. It says, I find that the time limitations have been overcome by the allegations of new evidence and in the interest of justice, said Judge Bennett on Monday. As he told the court, he took no opinion on whether Simmons was guilty or innocent. Mr. Simmons has attempted at least six times to get a new trial, maintaining his innocence and arguing he did not receive a fair trial. Now we know that is uh, there are some we're familiar, familiar with this high profile case of R. Kelly. He didn't get a fair trial. We know that false allegations. Prosecution is aware of the false allegations. The judge too, but they continued on to get a conviction. But again, we're praying that R. Kelly will be vindicated. We're praying. And so it says that he had tried for three decades to get the new evidence heard. So there was new evidence and you guys are going to listen to this and you may be surprised and you may not, but it says, including a medical examination report, listen to this, where a doctor wrote that one of the alleged victims was a virgin. Yes. Even though she claimed she was, what is the word? Raped, R-A-P-E-D. And I don't like to use that word, but this is in this article. So this is for commentary, for criticism, for education, and to report this particular story. Okay. I don't own the rights to this story, but it's to critique and to talk about this story. And so um, he's being released and you can see him walking out uh, walking out of the jail in this particular article. And I am going to leave 
the article down here, but it goes on to say that the doctor also stated that when he examined the girls two weeks after the alleged attack, there was no signs of sexual assault on either, on either girls, either twin girls. The alleged victims who were white also told the sheriff that they did not know who their attacker was and allegedly told him that he was black and that quotation marks people, all black people look alike, according to CBS News. Now, we've heard those stories before that all black people look alike. And we know darn well, darn, D-A-R-N, that all black people do not look alike. They come in many different, you know, shades. We come in different, you know, features. We do not all look alike. But that is the bias stereotype statement that has been going on for many, many years. Matter of fact, decades. And even prior to 44 years of this man serving prison and uh, time in prison, excuse me, decades, all black people do not look alike. We have, you know, unique features. You know, we're the beauty of color in all of us. We are beautiful people. And for people to say like this and other races that all black people look alike is the most uneducated unintelligent, low-level way of thinking, you know, to say that all black people look alike. Now, lawyers for Mr. Simmons says that the evidence was never shared with his defense team, which prosecutors have denied. They say they never shared that information. And we see again where information was not allowed to be presented in the R. Kelly case. Information was not shared or not presented. Okay, so we go on. The fact that he's not angry. And see, that's the thing, you know, as we, we try to forgive, we do forgive. We, we try to let it go. We compartmentalize, we compartmentalize things too, where we just put it away, pack it away deep down inside and bury it to try to get through and to maintain and to keep pushing forward. And I'm sure he did that while he was in prison. He's not angry. He's not angry. And if we get angry, then we're, we, we are talked about, we're put down, we're judged because we're angry. Oh, you're a bitter person. But I say, wouldn't you be bitter? God has to work and move through you for you not to be bitter. But I know that in human nature, bitter, angry, mad, because this is something that happened. You didn't get a fair trial. Mr. Simmons, you were falsely accused. And then there's this biased statement and the new evidence wasn't presented. So you had to serve 44 years. We ought to be really upset, disgusted, outraged that this man had to serve 44 years before they're releasing him. And he's not angry. That's the thing about Vincent. If I was Vincent, I'd be angry. He's not angry. But I would be angry. You hear what this, his attorney, he said, I would be angry to have to serve 44 years and miss out on my life. Maybe he had children, grandchildren, his parents. 44 years. Let me say that again. 40 for years and he's not angry but the word of God tells us so we, we, we the word of God says he forgives them because he knows vengeance isn't his somewhere God has to move in our hearts for us to get to this place his lawyer now, he didn't say that part, but let me read that again. He forgives them because he knows vengeance isn't his. His lawyer, Justin Bonus, told the network. But that part about God has to move in us to get to that place of not vengeance, his lawyer didn't say that. I said it because I'm looking at this, and yes, a biblical perspective, but at the same time, we are human. And 44 years, we should be angry for Mr. Simmons so he can move forward, 
so he can because see his anger will not allow him to move forward and we definitely don't want him to return back to prison now that he's out but it is unfortunate that we have got to keep on reading these stories and i will share them as i get them now the sisters who are now 59 maintain to cbs news they are the victims in the case and mr simmons is guilty now how is you the victims in this case and this man is guilty when the doctors said one of them was a b you know the rgin and there was no no evidence of signs of sexual assault two weeks later after they were examined so you know what they will carry that lie to their grave some people just gonna lie keep that lie until they die and i hate to say this that some folks will keep the lie until they die and that's really sad and if the evidence says that he didn't do these things then how you gonna get on cbs news and say that they are the victim and this man is guilty and gail king are you is she gail king cbs god try not to watch her how do they do not let me know what i don't understand how do they not really ask the hard questions and really dig deep but when it came to r kelly she was all up there in his business all up there harassing him you know bias you know already had the man guilty you know without the presumption of innocent but when it come to other stories like this where there are you know people that may not have you know fame and fortune you know what i'm saying how is it that you cannot treat everyone with dignity and 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 ask whether they have money or not these are human beings human beings this is a man is a human being that i don't know but i know that this is wrong on every level and these sisters they need to be prosecuted lying and then it, it, go back let me go back to this statement right here where it says that they allegedly said they told the sheriff there whoever the sheriff is all black people look alike that's the biggest lie that can ever be made up in this country it's a lie and the truth is not in that statement it is the biggest lie and for them to say anything like that period says right there they don't know they don't know that's just like a woman if you don't know who the father is of your child when it was more than one you need to get a dna on the ones that you participated with right because you can't say what well, they all are same thing here and, and wait let me stop there you can't say they all are and then try to put just one of them and go to court and then file a child support case against one man but there's more than one p potential possible father and right here all black people don't look alike so therefore why would this man be prosecuted anyway because all black people don't look alike so they don't they didn't know who and if it even happened and and and, and you know what people saying well you shouldn't be victim shaming and asking the hard questions it's victim shaming victim blame no it's not it's getting to the root of the problem it's getting to the meat excuse me the meat of the matter is what it's getting to the meat of the matter and even maybe go further why would you say things that you are not being truthful about so let me say this so no we need to ask the hard questions we need to put this information out there and we need to let the media too which just goes alone and runs stories that's what their job is but you know what as a a, a journalist and at one with degrees you should be looking into the information. You should be trying to seek the truth. And instead of just running with these stories. And that's why it takes all of us, a village and culture obligation, but a village to come out and report these stories and critique these stories because we are not getting the truth where the truth should matter when it comes to these big media stations and some of these other channels that jump on bandwagons and crabs in the barrel i'm telling you and so guess what here it is this is this story i'm going to put the uh you know the the link so you can read this story and see this man walking out of prison 
I mean, walking out of, yeah, the courthouse. This, I believe, is the courthouse. He's coming out of here. You can read the full conversation, you know, on Twitter. But however, newsbreak.com, and it's Vincent Simmons freed from prison. And the women that lied, lock them up, lock them up, lock them up. Bye, you all.